Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. In the last part, we got our route uh, removed from us, from uh, Lionel, and now we have to go back there because apparently we have a traitor in our midst. So, let's take a look at our party because uh, I've had a bit of a break between sessions here, so I don't remember what I've learned and what I haven't. Okay. Looking good here. Ash in your booty is uh, already at 94. Brave and low faith, so excellent. Yeah, I have my uh, set of chocobos here. I'm pretty sure I don't have much to learn on my dudes. Yeah. Unfortunately. And anything for Mediator? You already have Invitation. I might make use of that soon. I'm debating. Do you really not have any abilities? Man oh man. Oh, I can get a move plus one. That's probably better than nothing. Alright. Now my mediator can move a little bit further. Excellent. Alright, let's go. We are heading to uh, Wargelis Trade City. Whee! It's a long route. I could walk back and forth between those two cities trying to get a chocobo, a red chocobo. What do you guys think? No? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I prefer walking between uh, cities off screen and with less distance. Mm. Interesting ship, little homie. Got a nice, uh, nice balance going to it, certainly. Actually, I think that, um... Yeah, that, that's just part of the port over there, right? I mean, that's not part of the ship. Pretty sure that's part of the port. So I was gonna say, man, that thing would tip over like nothing. Oh, hey, it's Delita. Did you see that? Your booty actually backed up a little as Delita approached. Don't be scared. You can probably punch his lights out. Give him a whack over the back of the head. Uh, our information network. And Delita doesn't want us to be messing with the uh, holy stones or zodiac stones or whatever. I'll show you holy stones. And yes, he comes to give us a warning, but he won't tell us what it is. He really doesn't want us involved, but you know, he, he tells us some information that'll probably get us involved, but he won't give us complete information. And yeah, that's very useful. And up, oh, up oh, there he goes. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it, you booty. Do what? I'm not telling you. What? Frickin' Delita. <sighs> Never liked that approach. Anyway, uh, apparently we don't have a fight in Wardless Trade City. Unless we have one by surprise. No, they wouldn't do that twice in a row, would they? Let's see, what do we have here? Um. Oh. Uh, green beret and wizard outfit. Actually, yeah. I, I had to lose the attack power from dropping the headgear, but um, with a double fisting, <laughs> with with the double fisting that we have going on here, uh, that's not really a problem. So I don't see an issue with doing that. And since I'm not really hurting for money, I might as well trick everyone else out too. Yeah. Okay, voting is over. Look at that. We have to start stealing some money soon. Have anything to sell? Yeah, we have plenty to sell. Um, do I want to drop my uh, night equipment? Yeah, probably, because all better stuff available. So, yeah, I'll keep the headgears because you never know the attack power might come in handy later. But, uh, right now, I, I, th I would rather have the speed, honestly. Uh, speed is much harder to come by. I can just get, well, <laughs> I could always accumulate or yell. But, uh, starting with more speed means that you can get more, even more speed faster. So, I, I prefer the speed. And wizard robe adds a good a bit of magic attack, so I'm gonna hang on to that. Defense ring, rubber shoes, power, okay, we're good. Good on potions. How many Phoenix downs? Five. Considering that I only have one dude that can even use items. Actually, can he use items? I forget now. 
No, he has talk skill and yin yang magic. And have I been using yin yang magic at all? No. So, uh, we're gonna set item. Now, what do you have under chemist? Potion and high potion. Oh, geez. Okay, well, let's purchase. Whoop. That is not. No, don't proposition me. You're a dude. And uh, let's purchase some high potions in case we need the healing. We ought to be selling them by now, yes. Let's grab some high potions here. Excellent. There we go. Now my mediator can actually do something worthwhile, uh, even in direct battle. Well, okay, no, he can do it quite a bit because he can shoot things. He can uh, solution me away from being vulnerable to magic spells of any kind. And he can uh, heal, so yeah, that's a surprise to me. I was not expecting to uh, have any random character before the late game become worthwhile, like, ever. Nope. Well, we gotta get into a fight. And wordless. There's no way they would do that twice in a row, right? No way. No, no, they won't. It's just a cutscene, viewers. Just a cutscene. <laughs> Gafgarian's right. That's not something you would traditionally uh, think the church would do, is use the princess as bait. Well, it depends who you are. Yeah, I gotta get rid of the people who know about the kidnapping. Oh, wait, what, what's your problem, Gafgarian? Ah, he wants to be careful. And apparently this dude's gonna help him out. Woman will make perfect bait. Oh man. So we're gonna have to fight Gafgarian again. Big shocker there, since he got away. What do you mean, how dare you? What are you gonna do about it, Rudvik? We haven't even seen you fight yet. Oh, he'll even get the stone back. Not likely. Do you remember what happened last time we fought? Oh well. Why him? Guess he can actually fight. Oh, he has to take responsibility. So what is that? Like uh, push-ups? Maybe a couple laps around the track? Uh, wind sprints? Hundreds? Oh man, having to do hundred hard wind sprints over and over again? That sucked. That was so hard. Oh. Oh, that kind of responsibility. Well, it looks like we're not going to be seeing Rudvik fight ever. <laughs> it's good to know, I guess. <laughs> it's one problem out of the way. Okay, we're going to save this again because we don't need to go through cutscenes multiple times. Should I fail? You never know. You could. It's possible. Various Valley. Actually, this is one of those missions I could fail because it's not just a stay alive mission. You have to protect someone. So, yeah, that's. That could be a little bit problematic, I gotta say. Uh, who do we bring here? Black Chocobo. And, uh, yeah, we'll bring. Wait a minute. No. We'll dump the black chocobo and uh, put Boko here. And he here we'll we'll bring a black chocobo and a regular one, I guess. There we go. That should be good for Barry's Valley. Cause we have someone we want alive in this battle, and you'll see in a moment who it is. The princess? No, no. I'd be more than happy if something unfortunate happened to Avelia, but oh well. It's Agrias! <laughs> don't try to escape. So you want her to just stand there and die? I mean, I guess that would be more convenient, but uh, whoever listens to that, I mean, seriously. Well, great. <laughs> yeah, okay. What? I'm, proje I'm projecting Agrias Geronimo! Okay, you booty. <laughs> Not sure what the Geronimo's about, but 
you say so. Alright, so, yeah, in this battle you have to protect Agrius, which is not necessarily the easiest thing in the world to do. So we're going to yell to increase her speed so that we can actually do something to help her. And then... I think I'd rather than getting on the Chocobo, I'm just going to run him there as quickly as possible to see if I can't... Uh, heal her. So, yeah. You can, uh... Just offer up a solution to the magic using problem. Like so. Yeah, tanking faith is really easy. I wish raising brave were that easy. Ash and your booty! Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> it's going to attack the castle flank, and we don't mean poking at the love handles this time. But why are you here? Yeah, yeah, we know. We know that Larg and the Cardinal were in cahoots. We saw it in a cutscene before this. Well, <laughs> we saw implications of that anyway. Yes, somehow. What could you possibly be implying, you booty? I think Agrius knows. She knows that he's implying. And fortunately, she moves out of the way of the knights. Yes, this battle can be problematic because uh, Agrius doesn't have the same tendency of, say, Boko to uh, move to safety. No, Agrius will stay in uh, harm's way here. And that can be problematic, so we need to get help there as soon as we can. Now, fortunately, O'Neill and that archer over there are not going to be able to get into this fight as quickly. So even though we're, you know, with, with the numbers thing going on here, this isn't as hard of a battle as many are. Wait, who did he target? <laughs> if he targeted the Chocobo, I don't want to move the Chocobo next to uh, Agrias. Oh, he did target the Chocobo. Frickin' jerk. Well, it's not targeting Agrios, so, I mean, that's, uh, you could do worse, I guess. In that case, we're just going to attack. Oh, if I get a move, yeah, I might be able to kill him before he gets that uh, attack off at all. And you can just, yeah, we'll just run away from the people on the other side of the map. Yeah, I can. I can, uh, just get rid of this dude. Does my mediator get to move first, too? You must... No, that's my black chocobo. Okay, so I'm gonna have to kill him. I don't think it really matters where I do it. I don't just attack here. That way I use up less movement. Or use up less, uh, CT or whatever. Um, here's as good as anywhere, I guess. Charge plus four, yeah. Right on Agrios, not cool. So here, guts. We're going to cheer ourselves up. Nice. This is as much rabies as we can get from one battle. And uh, now we move into the fray. Because we do not want Agrius to die. Hmm. You can help her out. I gave you the capacity to do so. How is she on health? Yeah, she's lost like half her health already. But, we worry about that no longer. Because now she has almost all the damage taken away. And, uh, good old Yabuti is blocking. Oh yeah, Sunken State. I've been meaning to test this out if I can yell or do other things while in Sunken State. Because if I can, 
This game is... I officially broke the game. It's as simple as that. But if I can't, oh well. I mean, it's kind of fair if I can't, honestly. Okay, well, Chocobos are pretty useless for uh, damage. Oh, it's only a one height difference. But they are not so useless for healing, so... Choco Asuna? Someone must have the monster skill. Who has that? Did I give that to Agrius? Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Well, I, I clearly don't need to accumulate, so I'm just gonna yell to see if it breaks my sunken state. Uh, no. No, it doesn't. Oh yeah, there it goes. Okay, I was gonna say. But I can probably still use that to run around while hidden. <laughs> In certain contexts. So, whatever. Plus, it'll make him really hard to kill. Like, it, it, people will not be able to dogpile on Ramza at all. Or, uh, Yibuti, I should say. Up oh, there goes a the chocobo. Although, I might be able to heal off some damage here. Let's go with some Choco Cure. Yeah, it's either Agrios or Rad that has uh, the monster skill. I forget who has it. Man, one shot it. Frickin' rain. I'm gonna try and get a little more uh, cozy with this archer in a minute here, but first we gotta get rid of the knight. <laughs> Might actually have to start accumulating soon. Or get martial arts or something. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Oh, that's just cheap. I guess got lightning bowed. Oh, I can try out invitation. I have a 23% chance of success. Kind of lame. Well, why not? I have nothing better to try. <laughs> I had a good 1 in 5 chance, you know. My chocobos have been zapped. But it's all good. Yeah, this is, uh, this is unacceptable. We cannot have you griefing me to this extent. So you're gonna have to go. Did a lot more damage to her. Probably because we had better Zodiac compatibility. You both do more damage to each other when you have better compatibility. Where are you going? Oh, you're gonna destroy that knight. Okay. I wouldn't mind picking up some extra fodder. Actually, he's not very high level, so I probably won't bother. I'll probably just shoot him next round. How's Agrios doing? Oh, she's near max. Um... Yeah, I guess we're best off just running some offense. I can almost kill him, too. Well, assuming I hit, which I didn't. Alright, you booty. Let's get another yell, since you can't really do anything else. For the moment. At least nothing else that's useful. Alright. How far can I shoot? Pretty darn far. Will I hit my own guy this way? Well, it's certainly not giving me a damage amount, so that's probably not right. Sniper! Oh, I can't hit from here. Okay. I'll just do this instead. Get some experience. My bad sniper joke has failed me. Uh oh. Okay. 
I'll protect you, Chocobo. <laughs> oh, I can get an attack off too. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Low feed is just ruinous to magic damage. <laughs> You're not gonna do anything with that. Okay, and now that I'm on the Chocobo, I have a little bit better movement here, so we'll just uh, take care of one thing at a time. Get out of your Black Mage. Causing me enough grief. Oh, really? Come on. Why you cheese me, bro? I can't shoot him from here either, can I? Nope. Okay. Oh, solution angry ass too. Cause I'm not using any traditional like white magic in this. So I don't have a whole lot of reason to keep my faith high. And I'm not using any like buffing spells either. Well since you apparently have the ability to resurrect Get rid of you. Yeah, go ahead, cast your spell on someone. Uh, yourself apparently. Not gonna do anything there. What's he got? Oh, he has cure. It's alright. I can easily one shot him with your booty. And I'm not gonna lose any anybody again. That's good. Doing much better in chapter two than one. Yay! You all right, Agrias? Must hurry. Oh no, the prince is gonna be executed. I guess we'd better stop it. We don't let the uh, people trying to take over the world get what they want so easily, after all. Oh yeah, and and uh, saving the princess is probably okay. Oh, yes, and here we can add Agrias to our party. Very useful. And she does have the monster skill ability. I guess I did give that to her. So there you go. Now we can actually use her and control what she does. So join up, Agrias. She's a pretty good party member. Um, her sword skills depend on her physical attack rating. So you're going to want to improve that as much as possible. Oh, <laughs> yet another detour, absolutely. But let's look at all our party members now. Man, he just keeps getting a little better in the Squire class. But like I said, I'm just gonna sit tight on that. Ninja, anything else I can... I have Sunken State and Abandoned already. Yeah, there's not a whole lot else that's very useful in the Ninja class. I guess I'll just pick some of these things up so I can throw them if I want to for some reason. I don't know, the throw might be strong. What do I know? And can you learn anything? Well, it's only going to have improved in the mediator class. So let's have a look. Oh, I could raise faith if I want. I've <laughs> been using preach. Um, praise allows you to raise brave, but it doesn't have the same hit rate, so that's not good. I think I said that in a previous video. But if you want Chapter 1, Raising a Brave, for some reason, if you really are inclined to buff it as soon as possible, then uh, th that's pretty much the only way you can go with it. And sure, we'll, we'll pick up Monster Talk. Might be able to uh, invite the monsters this way. And... Do you have anything of use yet? No. Why don't you split punch? She's gonna move plus one. Oh, this is gonna be painful. She might be worth investing in gain JP up because she doesn't have anything that can improve her rate of development. Like she doesn't have yell or accumulate or anything. These these abilities are all really good though, especially lightning stab and holy explosion. Oh my god, those are amazing. 
And she's a lot of hit points, so whatever. What does she have equipped? Oh, okay, ability. Let's set another ability than Holy Sword. Yeah, now she doesn't seem to have her yin yang magic. It's kind of iffy. I'll give her item. What do you have as a chemist? Potions. Wow. That's actually not the best, probably. Well, does she have anything under night? Not really, no. So there's no point in setting anything else. I don't know. I probably won't use her much. I got another egg. Awesome. And I think I am getting a little heavy on the chocobos here, so I'm going to dismiss one. You're not very brave. Remove unit. There we go. Okay. So that's Beria's Valley. I'm going to go ahead and save this off here. I will see you guys in the next part. Give a like if you're enjoying the Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics, and I will see you then. Me and team, signing off.